Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well what do you do when you're not happy with something the government is either doing or possibly planning? Do you have a moan on social media? Write to your MP or you know maybe even start an online petition so hopefully it'll be brought up in Parliament. Or maybe do you try and storm a TV studio? Let's begin. Okay, I've got two different stories about this and I'll be showing various pictures or photos of the protest from both of the articles throughout the video. Anyway, both stories are from The Sun and the first one says, This morning's Ruth Langsford is forced to hide in a room after anti-vax protesters stormed TV studio. She was among staff and guests trapped in the room as protesters charged at the former BBC TV centre in London. Hubby Eamon Holmes and others got out in time. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh no, what's that coming? Oh, sod this, I'm off. Bye darling, see you later, good luck. I guess she's lucky they're just both not in a purge firm. Although thinking about it, he may have actually have left before they turned up, mightn't he? Anyway, a few thugs got inside as police struggled. A source told The Sun it was terrifying. No one knew if the protesters had weapons, and to be honest, that's quite a concern, isn't it? The protesters arrived after this morning had come off air. They seemed to have an issue with the anti-vaccination issue has been handled on the show. And also, Ruth had to be brought out by security shortly after being forced to hide in a room. I guess an Ofcom complaint clearly wouldn't have done. Although, as far as I know, it was a protest against possible vaccine passports and vaccines for 12-year-olds. And whilst this may be a genuine concern that a lot of people may care about, unfortunately quite often protests do seem to be taken over by a few people that get out of hand, don't they? And then that is what is shown on the telly. And it doesn't make them look too good, does it? Although, that probably is unless you were in one of the protests last year about a certain matter. And I can't quite remember what that was, no? Anyway when 27 officers got injured, because it may then get described as a largely peaceful protest. Anyway, ITV are going to have to carry out a major inquiry after security was breached. You know, I think they probably will do. The official voice campaign against vaccine passports and jabs for kids had urged the demo, claiming the media is the problem. Now, I've been a good boy and I've been double jabbed and I'm therefore obviously not an anti-vaxxer, but personally, I am against the whole idea of vaccine passports because to me it just seems like a way of slowly forcing people to get the vaccine. Because otherwise, all those things that they used to do might either start to have some sort of limit placed on them or actually may even be hidden behind a vaccination requirement. And to be honest, I think it should be up to the individual person if they would like a vaccine or not, without having any limits or requirements being put on things. But I do think these people have gone about things the wrong way here, although don't get me wrong, Obviously, everyone is entitled to have, a, have or attend a protest about something, but storming a TV studio is definitely not the solution, in my opinion. Also, what would they actually expect to achieve by pushing past police and entering a TV studio in the first place? Or even if they actually managed to get on TV? I wonder if it would be anything like this. Oh, um, hi everyone. Um, yeah, please don't go ahead with the passports and things. Personally though, I don't think anything like that would have actually helped their cause one bit because as soon as things start to get out of hand, then the public often tend to start withdrawing any support that they may have given in the first place. Anyway, the second story says ex-Coronation Street star Sean Ward faces off with cops as anti-vaccine protesters try to storm the BBC and ITV studios. The 32-year-old actor was one of thousands of maskless demonstrators, I'm not sure if there was that many, who were protesting against the introduction of vaccine passports and the vaccination of children. He can be seen to try to stop protesters battling with police, turning around and shouting stop and putting his arm out. Well, I'm glad he was actually being sensible and trying to calm things down. Although I don't think TV companies appear to like it at all, do they, when their stars attend protests, even though it is their right to do so. And hopefully, you know, because of that, it shouldn't affect his career. 